myself Santosh and currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft, taking training for KSR for the last five years. Well, welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about one scenario where data was very crucial. Now, uh, this video may not be too technical, but just wanted to make you understand yet another importance of data and data accuracy. I'm going to talk about the recently concluded one of the tournament in which one of the small mistake has costed the entire team to get eliminated from the round. Now, just to give you an context, this topic or the things which I'm saying, uh, maybe if you are a cricket fan, you may understand. But if you don't know anything about cricket, uh, but I'm sorry that this could be a very high level picture for you. Now, recently, uh, we are into a, a cricket match is going on where we have an Asia Cup that is that is happening. So when I say Asia Cup, it's basically uh, all the Asian countries will uh, play for a cup and it's basically an Asian championship, right? So we do have six countries participating well starting with afghanistan nepal pakistan sri lanka and india and initially they had been splitted into two groups and in one group we add sri lanka bangladesh and afghanistan now to give you more context the top two teams from this group will get qualified for the next round and in the recently concluded match there was a very small mistake it's a very crucial mistake that happened which even actually made the afghanistan to lose out of the tournament. Now, what exactly happened? Let's give a more context. Sri Lanka has posted 291 on the board. Now, obviously, what happens whenever you're playing a 50 overs match, when any team is setting a target, you will have 50 overs to achieve that, right? So 50 overs is almost 300 balls. Now, since it was a last game and uh, there's something called run rate comes into picture, since Afghanistan has has been lost to other teams with a greater margin. And in this match, which is a last league match, if they can score the target within 37.1 overs, they will make it to the playoffs. So one among these two teams should have made into the playoffs. So that's the ideal scenario. It's accepted one. And trying it to chase it down, Afghanistan failed to cross the line at exactly at 37.1. They have even actually gave up, right? 37.1 overs, they did not score. But... You know, the hard fact is when you all see all the calculations that is happening in the back end, Afghanistan still had chance until 37.4 overs or even 38.1 over. They still had chance. And the coach, Afghanistan coach has admitted that they did not get this information from the team. Now, who is the team? Whether it's a sports, whether it's a business, or it's an institute, or even it's an Amazon, or even it's a Google. There is always people who are running behind us as data analyst. Now, the actual reason, if you see, they say that they were never communicated on these calculations. Now, this was a major heartbreak for Afghanistan fans. One of the very strong team in the recent times, they missed out of getting qualified just because they were not being informed. And you know what? There is always at the back end, there is some analyst who is working on these calculations. These numbers are very crucial for us. Though they literally gave up at 37.1, they still add one over in hand if they have hit the last ball over a boundary or a six, or even if they have taken three runs or four runs, still it would have been mattered because the run rate is calculated on the number of runs given and the number of runs, I mean, the number of runs considered and the number of runs scored. Unfortunately, this was a very much a error. A small error, maybe I, I can call it a small error, which was just a small calculation, but with respect to Afghanistan, it's a blunder mistake. If they have informed them prior, even they could have qualified because they knew, knew what needs to be done. Now, if you just go and see how this miscalculations hurt them, they could have still scored this runs in this given overs if they have got into a a higher margin like they would have scored a last ball six or four they would have still qualified now if you ask me what went wrong afghanistan coach admitted that they were not aware of this calculations now if you all people thinking that data analysis is only for your business where you wanted to improve your revenue revenue profit or cost or sales you're wrong everywhere data is important everywhere there is an importance 
for the data. This is an another example like how data is very crucial. A small number, a small number has caused the entire team to get eliminated from the group stage. Now, this is one thing which I wanted to share. As I said, there is no much of technical, but you need to understand the importance of data. This made me to think and remind an another match which I happened in our own IPL. I don't know how many of you remember this match. Back in 2014, there was a match between Mumbai Indians and Rajasthan Royals, and it was a last league match. It was a last league match. One among these two teams should have been qualified. As we know that in IPL, only four teams qualify. So one among Mumbai Indians and Rajasthan Royals should have been qualified. So Rajasthan had scored 188. So Mumbai Indians, they should have scored 189. But again, which was cut short at a number of overs, they should have scored within 14.3 overs in order to get past the run rate of Rajasthan. If you have not seen this match, I have attached the link. This link will be also will be available in the description. Please watch it. It's been almost nine years. You may not even remember, but this is something which I keep reminding because this is one of the match in entire IPL. This is one of the match which is highly rated because it was a last league match. And in the last ball, it was decided which team has been gone through the playoffs. Now, if you observe carefully, they also wanted to score 189 and 14.3, which they failed to achieve it, which they failed to achieve it. But still in the last ball, if they hit a boundary or a six, they still had a chance. And Mumbai Indians players were able to achieve this and they qualified for the playoffs. And everyone wants to see the queue in their name. And if you see, maybe for us, it will be like a 0.0. .0. It's just a number for them. It's a qualification margin. It's not that easy, right? Very minute changes, 0 0.095 and 0 0.06. There is nothing much difference, right? And it was again a heartbreak, but this time it was at the Rajasthan Royals. Mumbai Indians were well on track. And in the last ball, when they miss it, and this time, the calculations were really worked. I feel bad for Afghanistan because there was no one to help from them at the backside. And the coach, the players admitted that they were not communicated. Well, in India, all in all, everyone gathered. Please see the match, the highlights, which has been uh, given in the link. You will be getting more clarity on what really happened. Well, all in all, the reason why I'm saying all this is forget about the match. What really matters is for us is data. Data is data and data is always a data. And the lesson learned from this is no matter what, data is always data and never ever go and come up with assumptions. That's what happened. When they say the team has to score in 14.3 or the team has to score in 37.1, please remember that it's just an assumption. If you go and do uh, all the permutations, combinations, and do all the mathematical calculations, well, there was still the chance. Well, take it from me. Always when you're working with data, your evidence and proof is a key. Never ever go with assumption. Now, finally, I just want to tell you one thing. Uh, how data is going to be very important in a cricket match. So when I say cricket match, it's not only about cricket match, it's all about sports. Well, whether it could be hospitality or it could be like e-commerce, telecommunication or retail, anywhere you go, data is data. And the importance of data, it helps us to understand how this data plays a major role in making decision. For example, let's take a player A is always getting out for an off spinner. That's the data. Let's say there is a player who always smashes six for a fast bowlers. That's the data. Well, there is a player who always takes wicket through LBW or bowl. That's the data. Where every single insight what we talk is all about data and data and data. Whenever you see a live match, they show you some bars like which over how many scores, I mean, how many runs has been scored. And they'll also give you a visualization view. Which player, what is the partnership, how much they have contributed. Well, if you just keep on observing, everything is data. You just watch one match, you will get to know how much of data they are utilizing. The best example is maybe ESPN Info or you can go with the Crick Bus. You want to go and see any match details, you can still get it. And you can still do the 
analysis. Well, the purpose of this video was to make you understand how important the data is. And this is an yet an another proof that a small mistake which you make towards the data can spoil your entire analysis. And um, that's why I, I feel pity for Afghanistan. They should have won it if they knew it before, but there was no one to help them. I can simply say that they lack data analysts. As simple as that. In India, maybe we give more importance to all this, but Afghan was a, Afghanistan was a team where they did not even communicate. And as a result, they have moved out of the tournament. With that, I just wanted to convey small information. Maybe this, this doesn't look technical, or uh, maybe people who don't understand cricket may not know the importance, but people who understand cricket, well, take it from me. This video will be definitely helpful for you to think about the data. Thank you so much. Please subscribe our channel.